name is Torres, and I'm here to show you how to make an animation using Google Slides. Let's get it started. First up is to add a background. To do this, you're going to want to clear your slide. So like on this slide, for instance, I'm going to want to remove the text box along with that subtitle box. You want to have a clear slide so you can add your background. After that, you're gonna hit that background button at the top of your toolbar. This window is gonna pop up, giving you the option to either add a solid color as your background, or you can add an image. When adding an image, you click on Choose Image and Google is going to provide you some options. You can upload an image saved on your computer. You can take a photo using the camera on your device. There's also a URL option you can use if you have the link to the exact image you want. You also have the option of using Google Photos. You may have some photos already saved on your Google Drive that you might want to use. So to do that, you just use the Google Drive option, look for the file, and click on the image you want to upload. Lastly, you can search for an image using the Google search engine. So for example, let's look for a star image. Google gives you a few options you can use from, and I think I'm going to use this one right here. And voila, our new background. Next step, adding images. Adding an image that you want to animate on Google Slide is pretty simple. So you're gonna go to the top left, and you're gonna look for the word insert. I'm going to search for an image on Google. Let's look up a cat because I have mine with me right here. When you find an image you like, you can either double click the image so you can add it to your slide or you can click it once and hit the insert button here at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna add a yarn ball for a cat to play with. Now that we have our images, I can use these two to do an animation if I wanted. Next up, slide animation. To help me explain this, I brought in Mr. LeBoy. Hi. I'm going to make an animation of me and Mr. LeBoy racing. Here's how I do it. On our slide, I have the background exactly how I want it, and I uploaded the images. I'm placing my images of me and Mr. LeBoy at the edge of the slide because I want him and I to run across the slide. OK. So to get my two images moving, I'm going to duplicate my slide and gradually move them across. I'm going to continue duplicating my slide and moving us across until I eventually move. Before we move on to the next step, here are some tips. So not all images are gonna fit in your background the way you want it to. For example, I have an image of me playing basketball. I have the basketball, but I'm missing the basketball hoop. So let me add that. So again, you go to insert, images, I'm gonna search the web and look up for a basketball hoop. I have a few options and I find one that I want to use. I can use this image if I wanted to, but the background of that image doesn't fit into mine. It doesn't look natural. So by adding transparency to the end of the image search, I can hopefully find an image without a background so it can match with the one I have. Now I can animate it how I want. Another thing I want to point out is the rotate option. In my animation, I'm jamming out of my guitar for my lovely fan to hear. Mr. LeBoy must not be enjoying himself seeing that he's faced away from me, but let's change that. I'm going to click on Mr. LeBoy's image and I'm going to rotate him. I can rotate him vertically, horizontally, clockwise 9 degrees, or counterclockwise 90 degrees. I want to rotate him horizontally, so I'm going to click that. Now this is almost perfect, but I want to add a chair for Mr. LeBoy's character image to sit on. I'm going to search for that image and choose one I want to use for my scene. Okay, so you can see how the chair is on top of my image. And you see why we wouldn't want that? It's not natural, so let's fix that. What you want to do is right click on your image, then find order. This gives you the option of whether you want to bring your specific image backward or forward. You could choose that option that is right for you, for where you want your image to go in your animation. On Google Slides, what you can also do is create your own shapes. 
Let's add another person to our little concert. See, now we're all jamming. Now that we know how to arrange, rearrange, and animate movement to our images, what I'm also going to show you guys is how to further animate your image. So I'm going to look up for an image. Let me look up for a disco ball. I'm going to add that image and size it the way I want it. And now that I have the image where I want, I'm going to right click and hit the animate option. A window is going to pop up and I'm going to see all the different options Google Slides has for me. I want my disco ball to spin. So I'm going to click for the spin option and once I do that, I'm going to hit play just to see how the animation plays out. So let's review. So after you set up your background and upload your images, we're going to work on character movement. For each movement, we are going to duplicate the slide first, then move the characters. For my animation here, I'm going to move Miss Boy and I forward until we reach the middle. I'm going to add a little disco ball because we're about to break it down. I want the disco ball to fall from the top, so I'm going to add an animation to help me do that. And again, you do this by right clicking and finding the animate option. Now I'm going to continue duplicating a slide for each different dance move. And once I'm finished with that, we're going to publish. To publish your animation, you need to go to File and click on Publish to the Web. Once you click that, a window is going to pop up. Here, you're going to find the option of Auto Advanced Slides. You want to click that so it can play every second. You're going to check off the Start Slideshow as soon as the player loads option. And then you want to copy your link at the bottom, open a new tab, and paste. Once there, your animation should start playing. Side tip, if one second is too long for your animation, it kind of makes it seem like it's taking forever for the animation to play you can always go to the address bar find where it says the number 1000 and you erase one of those zeros just backspace and then you hit enter so now it's your turn to make your own animation just remember to have fun and play around with all the different options that Google Slides provides for you. 